All right, so we're diving into something kind of wild today. Get this. What if, like jumping around, going kind of crazy for a few minutes, could actually make you calmer? It's funny, right? Because we usually think of meditation as, you know, being still and quiet. Yeah, totally. But this is well, dynamic meditation. Exactly. It kind of flips the script. Yeah. Created by this guy, Osho. Okay, so how does it actually work? Because it can't just be running around yelling, right? Well, not just that. It's got these, like, phases to it. So you've got movement, but it's intense, you know? <laughs> Shaking, shouting, even something called chaotic breathing. Okay, chaotic breathing, I'm almost afraid to ask. Right, it sounds intense, but then... Boom, total stop. Everything just goes still. So it's like all this build up and then yeah. silence. Yeah, think of it like a snow globe. You shake up all this chaos, then you put it down and everything settles. That's what the movement does. It helps clear out the uh, the mental chaos so you can actually find that stillness. It's not about the shaking. It's about what comes after. Exactly. It's like physical release leads to like mental and emotional release too. Huh. I can kind of see that. Isn't there some research on this too? Yeah. Studies actually show that dynamic meditation can make you more focused, more attentive, probably because it like regulates your nervous system. So not just feeling calmer, but like better at focusing in daily life too. Yeah, like cleaning out all that mental clutter so there's room for, you know, clarity. And this reminds me, the article mentioned this woman, Sarah. She used it for pregame anxiety before like her soccer matches. Oh, interesting. What she think? I mean, going from intense movement to stillness right before a game. She was super skeptical at first, but she said that after she just felt more centered, focused, ready to play. That's amazing. It shows how it's not just this like sitting in a quiet room thing. It's about accessing that stillness whenever. Makes you wonder, could we all use a bit of that, you know, huh? a little chaos to find some stillness in our well, kind of crazy lives, even if it's not a formal meditation session. Right. If we can train our minds to be still in the middle of that dynamic meditation, mm -hmm. maybe we can find moments of peace, even amidst the everyday chaos. Something to think about.